Rifle shooting, an exciting competitive sport and an enjoyable recreational activity. Rifle shooting can be enjoyed by anyone. You don't need to be young and you don't need a very high level of fitness. What you do need, aside from good health and a friendly disposition, is the desire to improve your skills and the enthusiasm to keep practicing. For those who prove talented and dedicated to reaching a high level of expertise, there are competitions on club, state, national and international levels. For those who see rifle shooting as purely recreational, it can become an important social activity, bringing together families and friends. In Australia, there are some 10,000 people involved in rifle shooting at club level. Their ages range from 14 to 80. The governing body of full-bore target rifle shooting is the National Rifle Association. Full-bore rifle shooting includes shooting over open ranges from 300 to 900 metres and covers the type of shooting used in competition at the Commonwealth Games. It also covers international shooting union matches which are fired at the Olympics and World Championships. Before you begin shooting in earnest, you must be properly equipped. You'll need a 7.62 caliber target rifle approved by the National Rifle Association of Australia. Discussions with association officials will help you decide which one will be best for you. You'll need adjustable rear peep sights and foresight elements in steel or plastic. There are different types and sizes of sights and elements. Take advice from an expert as to which are suitable for you. Next, your sling, which, when properly fitted, will help you hold your rifle steady. The sling is usually made of one or two pieces of pliable leather with a single or double point attachment and a maximum allowable width of 51 millimeters. You'll need a canvas or rubber shooting mat, not more than 12.5 millimeters thick when compressed and a padded glove or mitt can be used for comfort. A well-padded canvas, drill or leather coat is essential and you'll need a hat or cap to shade your eyes from distracting light. Protective shooting glasses are also recommended against debris that can blow into the eyes when the rifle is fired. The use of earmuffs and plugs is recommended to protect ears, reduce flinch and aid concentration. A telescope and stand is required to view the spotting disc on the target indicating the bullet hole and to study weather conditions. You'll need a suitable container to keep your ammunition clean and dry, a small container for sight elements, spare parts, screws etc and waterproof clothing for wet weather shooting. Finally, you'll need a cleaning rod and guide, cleaning patches, an oiling brush and rifle oil. The rifle is, basically, a relatively uncomplicated piece of machinery whose mechanics should be understood by those taking up shooting. Very simply, the rifle consists of the stock, all the wooden parts of the rifle. The action, which is the bolt, trigger and other mechanism for the functioning of the rifle. And the barrel, a steel tube closed at one end by the bolt. Sights, fore and rear, are attached to the rifle to help the aim of the target shooter. Of course, there are many other small parts which make up the rifle and you will become familiar with all of them gradually. When handling a rifle, safety is of the utmost concern. It is essential that all safety rules are followed closely. Remember, breaches must be kept open and the bolt should be removed whenever you are not shooting. No shooter can load a rifle until he takes his place on the firing mound and is about to fire. The muzzle must, at all times, be pointed in the direction of the target 
And Five. if shooting is interrupted, every shooter with a loaded rifle must unload immediately. Shooting Carry must on. not recommence unless authorized by a range officer. Before leaving the firing mound, each shooter must unload and then remove the bolt from the rifle. After the rifle has been checked by the scorer and the check scorer, the shooter may leave the mound. The care of your rifle is also very important. Before shooting, remove oil from the chamber and rifling with the cleaning rod and flannelette. After shooting, apply a good rifle oil to the bore of the barrel with a brush. Fouling is removed easily by using good quality solvent, but don't let oil or solvent seep between the action and the stock. Now, let's get into position. Stan, would you like to take up your position on the mound, please? The rifle is fired from the prone position, oriented so the natural aim is spot on. You put the bolt in the rifle. Put the rifle in your shoulder. To assume a good prone position, the shooter lies between 5 and 30 degrees to the left of the line of fire. The body is stretched out and relaxed. The spine is straight. The left leg is roughly parallel to the spine with the toes pointed to the right or inwards. The right leg is drawn up with the knee bent and toes pointed outwards. This position frees the right side of the diaphragm from the ground for easier breathing. The left elbow is placed slightly to the left of the rifle. By the rules, the left wrist must be at least 10 centimeters from the firing mound. Normally, the holding hand exerts no pressure on the rifle. The sling should be adjusted so it supports the weight of the rifle. Your left hand should be snug against the fore-end stop and the sling adjusted so it produces the least amount of pulse beat. Different shooters will prefer differing adjustments. In assessing the relative merits of these variations, remember that the sling is only an aid to holding. A glove can be used for your forward hand. Now, place the right elbow a comfortable distance away from the body. Too close will raise the shoulder to an uncomfortable position, leading to instability. Your right hand grips the stock with a comfortable degree of pressure, which should be the same for each shot. Your thumb can be over the stock or alongside it. The finger on the trigger position is also your preference, but it would be clear of the stock, so when pressure is applied to the trigger, it's not also applied to the stock. The butt must fit snugly into the shoulder, in the same place for each shot. When you're in the correct position and place your head on the stock, you're looking through the sights. Head pressure on the stock should be constant, and your head should be as erect as possible. The distance of your eye from the back sight should be between 5 and 15 centimeters. Once in position and comfortable, you are ready to sight your target. Check your target number for every shot fired. Don't fire at the wrong target. Check that the crossbars in the foresight and the wind arm on the rear sight are horizontal to ensure the rifle is not canted to the left or right. Then, centralize the foresight in the rear peep sight and concentrate on placing the aiming mark on the target in the center of the foresight ring. Focus on the foresight ring and if the aiming mark is central, fire as soon as you can. And now some tips to ensure you maximize your overall performance. Correct breathing is essential for control, concentration and clear vision. Therefore, as shown in this diagram, you should breathe normally until your hold becomes steady and your sight picture appears correct. Then stop breathing and fire. You should not hold your breath for more than six to eight seconds. When you fire your rifle, sensitivity is required to release the trigger without causing any movement of the rifle. 
as the sight picture appears correct, gradually apply pressure to the trigger with the first joint of the index finger in direct line with the bore of the rifle. Now, when you've perfected your technique, remember that the strength of the prevailing wind is a very important consideration. A moderate wind blowing across the range at right angles to the bullet's flight at 800 meters will deflect the point of impact two to three meters. To counteract wind deflection, the shooter must adjust the windage arm on the rear peep sight. Wind strength and direction can be judged by the movement of range flags and by the mirage effect. Rifleman's mirage is virtually wind you can see through the scope. You can see it by focusing the scope short of the target so the spotting disc is blurred. The force or speed of the wind is graded as indicated in this diagram of flags and this diagram of mirages. While both flags and mirage can be used to judge wind speed, direction should be judged only by flags. Good health and fitness are also important when it comes to shooting good scores. Aside from a balanced diet, adequate rest, regular fitness training and constant practice, you should try to avoid tea, coffee, alcohol, nicotine and drugs. This will help to avoid shaking hands and lack of physical control. Mental control is also very important and the shooter should develop qualities like determination, concentration, confidence, detachment and awareness. When you've mastered the basics of the sport of rifle shooting and begin to achieve worthwhile scores, you may think about taking part in the variety of competitions available. At club level, you'll be graded according to your ability and be able to participate in individual and team events. There are also open prize meetings at state and national levels. One of the best known competitions is the annual Queen's Prize, conducted in each state. This is followed by the National Queen's Prize, a national teams competition. Every three years, Australia's champions compete at Bisley in England, the mecca for Commonwealth shooters, and the home of the National Rifle Association of Great Britain. And every four years, our top shooters get the chance to compete in the Commonwealth Games. To reach these heights, you must develop from good beginnings. Buy a good rifle and equipment. Train and practice frequently. Experiment to perfect your skill. Compete with others. Keep a diary of results and shoots. If you follow these simple but essential guidelines, you'll be well on your way to achieving great self-satisfaction and to acquiring the skills that could make you another Australian rifle shooting champion. <laughs>